Ooh, taking on the 13 and four commies. Dude, this is like a little rivalry because I was I was dueling with the commies when they had Deuce Vaughn offensive rig of the year, even though it ended up going to Jameer Gibbs somehow. That was a crazy season. Who do they got? So 99 D Swift, 90, whoa, they must've traded for him. 95 Hufanga, 93 Mac Jones, what? Patrick Queen, Zay Flowers, Ryan Jensen, Cole Komet, Money, McPherson, Judon. It's a solid team. I actually like the last team a little bit better, Loki. Let's get our strats in, boys. Been to defend the short pass against Mac Jones. Oh, throw it deep. Let's get Kincaid. Let's get Kincaid that red zone attack, baby. Thoughts on the new Josh Allen card? It's a good card. It's just nowhere, it's not as good as Jordan Love and it's not as good as CJ Stroud. And it's still not as good as William Perry, the fucking 315 pound quarterback. He's like one of the best quarterbacks in the game. In fact, William Perry is like QB two. QB one is Stroud. He's the best quarterback in the game. And then Stroud, or sorry, and then Perry, and then Jay Love. So, I mean, he's good. Meeks, this is also got me smelling colors. Holy shit. Also as a Bears fan, hope to see the Lions take it all the way this year. Bet. Said L didn't get, L did not get her McDonald's date, unfortunately. Or wait, I'm supposed to take her on a date today. She just asked me if she should cook dinner. She was probably trying to bait me. Hello? Dude, I owe you a date. I can't, right? We pulled CJ Stroud yesterday. You're not supposed to be cooking. Oh, you did pull CJ Stroud. You still want to go on a date? I have to, um... Do, do you still want to go, or would it be easier if I co I'll cook dinner? Well, I kind of only have to do is put it in the oven. Does that work for you in your schedule this day? Uh, let me think. My schedule. I work for myself. I do whatever I want, whenever the fuck I want. So, looks like I'm good. Dude, talking to women is so hard. It's so hard to just suck info out of them. It's just yap, yap, yap. Golly, just tell me what I want to hear. Golly. Okay, if I get one interception here, I get gold. Just 8,000. Oh, this one's hard to intercept. Just kidding. I'm like that. Let's go. For dinner, I can pretty much do salmon or fajitas. That's about all I got in the arsenal. Straight up. I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it a buck 50 with you. 250 plus passing, 20 points or less, three and plus offensive, turnover battle. Boom. Boom. All right, we do have some upgrades available. Let's make sure we use them. Ooh, 99 Roquan. How do you even get an upgrade? Pass coverage? No, we go run stopper. He's now a 99 run stopper and 99 field general. Excel, oh, look at this upgrade. Excel block shed speed zone. Yeesh. That's gnarly. Will Anderson deserves it, man. Give Will Anderson some speed too. I'll go nuts. That's <sighs> all right. All right, y'all. Taking on the commies. Who do I think wins the Super Bowl? Well, I don't even know who's gonna be in it yet. Five wide. What do we got here? That's sketchy. That's sketchy spooky. <laughs> I get what you're saying, but I think I'm all right. I don't really smoke that much and I've quit. Good defense. I just got reliant on it, to be honest. Like, ev dude, every single day, 7 p.m. on the dot, I was so geeked to get high. I was like, yes, my day is over. I've been productive all day. Let's get high. And then I'd be high for the next five, six hours. And like, I felt like I wasn't even consciously experiencing that time. I felt like that time just teleported. And I didn't like that. And I'd just wake up the next day and I'd go, damn, can't wait to finish my day so I can get high. So I just decided that I was gonna quit. That was the worst ball I've ever seen. That was a Mac Jones classic. That literally went to my hands. I have a limit problem, but I have no problem quitting either. For example, like some people say like, oh, I only smoke this much on Saturdays. Dude, I used to say that to myself and I would instantly give up. Like I'd say, oh, I'll only smoke once a week and then I'd smoke every day that week. But I told myself for my New Year's resolution, I'm quitting smoking weed and I haven't touched weed since December 28th and I have no plans to. It was the same thing with nicotine, bro. When I first got into nicotine, I was a fucking fiend. But when I committed to quitting, it was a wrap. I was quit. Oh my God, let's go. Good, good post. I haven't smoked nicotine since November 5th of 2020. It's been like fucking four years now. It's been three years and a month. What happened to Twitch streams? Okay, sorry, this is the last time I'm explaining this. Sorry, I explained this so much. Let me throw a fucking dot here, then I'll explain it.
All right, I have a deal with Prize Picks where I have to stream on YouTube four times a month. I agreed to that last year. As the year went on, I realized I would much prefer to stream on Twitch. However, I already signed the deal to stream on YouTube. So, after the Super Bowl, I'm restructuring the deal so that I can go live on Twitch instead of YouTube. It's that simple. So no, Twitch isn't going anywhere. I just need to fulfill the streams that I agreed to. And once that's done, I go back to Twitch. It was a run dot, bro. Third and seven. This defense is getting me down here. Just take the easy one. Ooh. Damn. I'm going to take the field goal. Yeah, I don't even have any good fakes in this playbook. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. I love that Tyler Bass has abilities. Some streamers go live on both TikTok and Twitch, though. I'm sort of down to do that. To be honest, I don't know how people do that. But I'm going to look into it. Regardless, I do, I do want to stream on TikTok simultaneously as on Twitch. It's not like I became a different person when I smoked or something. I smoked, like, pretty responsibly. I just... I got to a point where I really wanted it. And I could tell I was getting addicted, so I just quit. You know what I mean? It is a tradition, Liam. Ooh! Ooh! Look at that one-hand fumble snag. That was kind of clutch. We're playing really good defense, but he is too. It's a slow game. Boom. Punt was probably the right call there. How's it feel the Lions are going to the Super Bowl? Ooh, feels good, baby. You know what's crazy when you think about it? And this sounds like stupid, but like if you guys want to quit, you just like, you simply just do it, you know? Like if I held a gun to your head and I said, you're not allowed to smoke weed ever or you die, you would just quit, right? So you just have to convince your brain somehow that there's a gun held to your head and you literally have to quit. You don't have a choice. Because you could do it if you had to. People say they can't quit. That's like the saddest shit I ever hear. I mean, you can't. Yes, you can. Anybody can. I don't know. I know that people don't have that mindset, but I'm saying it's possible. It's possible to attain that mindset for everyone. It doesn't mean you have to have it right now, but you can get there. I really wanted to throw a stupid pass there, but I didn't. If you're poor, just get money. No. It's not the same thing. Me and Vic used to do videos a long time ago. If that's what you're talking about. Holy shit, Moses part of the fucking Red Sea over here. Ooh! I got very lucky that ball didn't pop out. I was very lucky. He hit me dead on the ball there. That just shows you just how broken these fucking juke animations are, dude. This is a risky free form, but I'm going for it. Oh! Oh, that was such a disgusting dot. My hands are dirty now. Ooh. I gotta go wash my hands. Ooh, with the free form. I'm no quitter, MMG. That's the spirit, bro. See, because if you quit nicotine or you quit uh, smoking weed, then you're a quitter. So just never quit. Laser. Stretch run to the right. Ooh, shit. He got my ass. Hey, tackled him with my helmet. <laughs> oh, take the angle. Oh, what a play. That was a nasty play. That was a nasty play. And he has a legal man downfield. Gotta love it. The Cooper Cup leg was so depressing. Yeah, it was embarrassing, dude. It was just such a bad pick by me. I feel so stupid watching that game as that happened. Pitiful. Is MMG good at Madden now? Dude, I, I'm pretty decent at Madden. I'm better at Madden 24 than I was at Madden 23. I'll say that. Certainly played more. But just so you know, division doesn't matter in Ultimate Team. It's not like other ranked games you play. Madden matches you up with players solely based on how good Madden thinks you are based on your gameplay. Madden does not match you up with players based on your division. Contrary to what every other popular video game will do. Basically, they like, they give you a ranking based on how well you play versus other players. And then they match you up against players like that. So it doesn't matter if you're in the lowest division or the highest division. You ever won against Throne? No, not even close. But I've only played Throne twice ever. But also, even it, it wouldn't matter how many times I play through, and I would never beat him. I would just have to get, I'd have to get a really lucky fumble and and chew the clock like a piece of shit to beat through. But if I did all that, it's possible. Freeform dot. Holy shit! 
Ever since I learned Freeform, I became kind of good at this game. Every Wednesday and Sunday, sir. Great blocks. Ooh. I was not looking downfield. 17 all ain't bad. I haven't played any 2K this year. Apparently, they took out the auction house. It's making me not want to do Wheel of 2K, which is so whack. How the fuck do you take that out? What's he want here? Bro. I'm so stupid. I'm so fucking dumb. Can I just, I got something to say after this play though. We gotta bottle this, but I got something to say. Left side or right side stretch? Oh, okay. All right, now we're gonna talk about it. This is a fucking EA classic, okay? Whenever EA has an issue in the game, rather than fixing it appropriately, they nuke it. They make it the most unbelievable, stupidest shit ever just to hot fix it. And then they never look at it ever again. Do you guys remember when every time your quarterback would get touched, like even like fucking, somebody would blow on their fucking ankles like this. <sighs> remember, remember your quarterback would fumble? You know why EA did that? EA did that because they couldn't emulate how in real life NFL quarterbacks don't scramble like morons because they have to worry about injuries. So EA said, oh, okay, we'll just make them fumble when you like slap their pinky toe, right? It was the stupidest shit ever. That's not football. EA determined that pitches were too OP. Pitches, and they were. Dude, you would throw the ball behind your head and it would fucking laser to the guy 30 yards back. It was unfair. So to fix it, EA made pitches where you literally take the ball and shit it out your fucking asshole directly into the dirt. It, it, they, they never even attempt to pitch it to anyone ever. It's so bad. It's like, why can't there be a middle ground? Why couldn't you just make the pitches a little bit worse? You don't have to make them fucking dog shit horrible. Also, that was God tier running. That's how you follow your blocks. But still, you get my point. You get my point. Laterals are pitiful in Madden 20. Yeah, because they they sacrificed laterals. They just they just nuked it. You didn't have to make them horrible. Would love to see a sketch collab. I keep hearing about this kid. I is he the is he the kid who like I don't know how to describe what he does. It's really fucking funny though. He like basically acts like he's a middle linebacker. Is that how you describe what he does? Dot. Ooh. As a cheeky first down. He acts like a dog and pisses on imaginary fire hydrants. That's pretty fucking lit, dude. Respect. <laughs> Bro really just said Dot after throwing the most egregious read this side of the Mississippi. You ain't wrong, son. That's a Dot. That was a stiff arm Dot. Did Puka Nakua get a Blitz card? Or a, a Redux for his limited? Because I'd say that. Dude, I'm a check down machine right now. I need to throw it. I need to throw something aggressive. What cologne do you wear? Wow. That's quite the question. I wear Dior Sauvage. It's interesting to ask that when you don't even know what I smell like. At least I hope you don't know what I smell like. It's like, what good does it do to know what cologne someone wears if you can't smell it? Am I stupid here or are you stupid? I think you're stupid. That's crazy, man. But he didn't even start his route. He's in your bushes, yeah, I guess. Sniffing my old clothes and shit. That's a sketchy ball. Ooh. It's an 11 point game, I'm going for this. I'm handing in this, ah, no I'm not. Godwin might be there. Ooh. Oh my God, he ran commit. He ran commit and he still jumped for that, damn. Do I play video games in my free time? Sometimes I play League of Legends, yeah. Dude, Jonathan Allen is so fast. Nice ball. What lane am I in league? My, my username on league is one trick bard. I exclusively play bard. That is it. I have almost a million mastery on bard. I think I have like 900k mastery. Think wide receivers should get tip drill like they did acrobat? No, because the problem with the tips in this game is they're unrealistic to real football. The amount of volleyball tips you see in this game, you just don't see in real NFL games. You do see a tip every once in a while. It's kind of like, um... Kind of reminds me of kick returns in this game. You get a kick return touchdown like once a game in Madden. 
You get a kick return touchdown like once every 400 games in real life. And that's aggressive. It's not once every 400, but it's probably more like once every 20, maybe one every 30 games. I don't know. In a full slate of NFL games, like everybody's playing a game that day, opening week, you know, there might be one kick return touchdown. Oh, I thought that was bagged. I don't play league with people. Oh, the RPOs are coming out. What's your opinion on Dak Prescott? Dude, Dak Prescott played offense for both teams in the wild card. That's impressive. This might be another RPO? No. Ooh. I'm right there. Bucks call you tomorrow saying they need a kicker for the game against the Lions? Yeah, you know what? I might take that because I'll put my fucking, I'll put my fifth mortgage on Lions money line and I'll do everything I can to sell the game. Dude, on kickoff, I'll just like dribble it on the ground, get every penalty in the world. Yeah, he's getting up there now. He doesn't want that to happen again, but I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Dude's a savage. They forget that Bijan's a 99 overall. That doesn't mean I gotta abuse him though. We just gotta put this game away, play smart and it's over. Um, I like Godwin on just a hitch here. Let's clear out Kincaid. Godwin, buddy, you rolled two yards behind the line of scrimmage. We can't be doing that. Not what the doctor ordered. I don't know what this is. We're gonna find out. It's a whip route. Offensive rookie of the year for a reason. There you go, Kincaid. What do you think's the best offensive playbook? I really don't know. I'm not the guy to ask. I use so many different playbooks on so many different occasions, mainly because of Wheel of Mutt. That I just like, okay, free play. Just huck it up there. Damn, that actually had a shot. That had a very serious shot at going. I, if I had a possession called that, it might be a touchdown right there. Just gonna hand this puppy off up the middle. Oh, it's home free. That might've put the game away. Clean running, really clean running today. Ooh. You accidentally quick sold 92 Redux. Why is 92 Redux Dion selling for 320K? What? That's an aggressive price for him. So there's efficient clock management here. I just gotta go camp it. Ooh. Not who I wanna be on, but low key I can make a play. Ooh. I don't know how he catches that ball. That was quad coverage. I think he could have thrown a better ball, but yeah, that he was never coming down with that. Honestly, not a bad call. People can mess this up pretty often. I do have an idea though. Dude, ever since I put free forms in the bag, it's just been over. Let me go to the middle on this one because he thinks it's a stretch. Bijan is a freak. Now watch this big dick move here. You actually can't play football better than that, bro. They are they are certain that, that if they stop the run one more time, they can call a timeout in the game. So you so you hit them with the play action. Woo! Just activated run and gun too. Nice work, Joshy Poo. And that's all she wrote. Great game. GG's to tie. Dude, that got scary, bro. When it was 14 17, I was spooked. Straight up. Hey! Super Bowl Bond! NFC Championship in the books! That was a good game, dude. I really put myself in a hole when I did that little fucking pitch back because then he had great defense coming out of there and then he scored a touchdown, so it got a little scary. But we we did play much better. 17 for 24, two touchdowns, no interceptions. He had four. Bijan was excellent too. It was a great game, bro. It really was a great game. I absolutely hate the way that social media treats college quarterbacks. Like, do you realize just how wrong college, like every single person on planet earth was wrong about CJ Stroud. And for that reason, I will never comment again. By the way, just so we're clear, I was big on CJ Stroud from the draft. And people were like, oh dude, he's a fucking idiot. He can't even pass a simple cognitive test. Shut the fuck up. This is football. They didn't come here to play school. I don't give a shit about the S2 cognition test. 
Can the S2 cognition test throw a fucking deep crosser 40 yards down the field? No, it can't. Either way, that's my point. Caleb Williams, I don't know. I don't know dick shit. Nobody can evaluate quarterback talent in college compared to NFL because if they could, then we wouldn't have people like Zach Wilson getting drafted in the first. You wouldn't have Trey Lance getting drafted in the first and you wouldn't have Brock Purdy getting drafted dead last. So I hate when people come in here and talk shit about, you know, young quarterbacks because I just, I won't hop on that train. Big dub here in the NFC chip. Next game is the Super Bowl. I can't play that right now uh, because we still gotta wait for the AFC to play, but hey, love you boys.